February 4th, 1922. Scores of soldiers, firemen, and civilians gathered at the site of the Knickerbocker Theater in Washington, D.C. to search through the ruins for victims after the building was destroyed by fire. Miss Helen Vickery, a nurse of Schenectady, New York, broke her neck while combing her hair. She quickly tossed her head to the side to unravel a tangle caught in the comb and fell paralyzed. She is in critical condition. The Air Service wants men who know how to drive or repair motorcycles. These men are needed immediately for all sorts of dispatch and emergency work overseas. Cornelius Cole, the Civil War congressman from California, is the last surviving member of the government of Lincoln's day. He is now enjoying life at the age of 100. Mr. Cole maintains a law office in Los Angeles and goes there to attend to business every day from his home in Hollywood. This white pine structure was erected in 1836 and once housed the legislature of the old Wisconsin Territory, now the states of Iowa, Michigan, and Wisconsin. It is located at Belmont, Wisconsin, and is being preserved by a special act of the present Wisconsin legislature. Wilfred L. Guerin of New Orleans has invented a seat signal. Now, ushers can flash a signal to waiting patrons without returning to the rear of the theater. The usher stands in the aisle opposite the vacancy and flashes a signal. A flash of red means a single seat is available. A white light means two or more seats together are available. A new invention has been made to foil bank robbers. When the robber steps in front of the teller's window and demands that he throw up his hands, the teller, with the pressure of his foot, causes a curtain of steel to separate him from the bandit, at the same time spraying the bandit's face with a chemical which temporarily blinds him. Here we have the chorus girls of Mutt and Jeff's divorce. Every one of the girls is an accomplished player of the piano, as well as a singer and dancer. The stage management, in selecting this season's cast, discovered that girls who are musically gifted make the most rhythmic singers and dancers. The young lady in this photograph has discovered a new mode of transportation. She lives in Jacksonville, Florida, and has replaced her horse with an alligator. She never fails to grab the attention of onlookers. The school officials at Newark, New Jersey are enraged by the modern trend of girls rolling their stockings down. They prohibit this practice in school, but once school is out, these girls start rolling. Modesty, it seems, has gone to the birds.